Now today what I wanted to do is I wanted to try something just a little bit different. I know when you use the heat box on these, they go on, this is a Michelin 3 by the way. Um, what I wanted to do today, it's a rainy day, it's only about 60 degrees. I wanted to see if we could even figure a way of putting these on if we didn't, we weren't able to warm the tire. Well, the first thing I realized was, well, it's a lot harder to squeeze the tire, of course. So I found a way that seems to work. You really have to uh, put some effort into getting this tire to go together like that. It's not as easy as it looks, but if you do three or four of them, or a hundred, Sooner or later you figure out how to do it. Gorilla tape is the secret. Now what I tried to do already today, when a tire is cold, when a tire is warm, you only need a half a strip. I strip it in half. Can't do that. It, it isn't strong enough when a tire is cold. So lesson one, lesson one is do it when it's warm out, but since we want to go riding tomorrow, now another thing, let's see, make sure we got this on the right way. Uh, we're spinning, we're spinning that way. Okay, so we gotta put the, the dawn on this side. You really only have to do dawn on one side. Or you can get one of those tire lube things, it's real good. I try to keep my hands clean right up to the last minute here. Get right on the edge. Only have to do one side something we didn't figure out exactly in the beginning of this. Now, when a tire is warm, these go right on. It's amazing. But I just wanted to know just how cool it could be before you, I might as well just use my shirt here. I'm not going to church today. What am I worried about? All right, wanna make sure we got the right way. That's our counter shaft sprocket. That's the way it goes. Wanna have that lined up with the valve. They really don't show you the the soft spot here, but now don't forget this is a bone stone cold 60 degree tire, so it's going to take a little more effort. See, if I was fatter, this would help. And this is where it really pays if you can put the tire out in the sun or if you have a hairdryer or whatever. I know you can do this a lot easier, but let's just see. I don't want to give up. Or you get one of your really big friends to come over. But what this really does show you is how important it is to have the tire warm when you do this, no matter what system you use. And so what we've learned, and what I've been able to show in real time, I hope saving somebody a scratch grim or a, a failed marriage or whatever, you really have to struggle when the tire is room in fact, I'm gonna give you a temperature. The temperature is 62 degrees, and that tire has been sitting here. There's no sun out, so that takes care of that. Now, the other thing, of course, I want to wipe some of the soap off, only have to only have to clear one side of the rim. I have yet to figure out or have anybody tell me where the why Michelin tires don't have that balanced yellow dot on them anymore. You don't think I'm out of breath, do you? Now I know because Chris has emailed me several times how much she enjoys watching me struggle with tires. Well this is this is the toughest one we've done so far. Now the other couple little things. I always use the Ordinary Dawn. This is the stuff that's friendly for your hands, which in my case doesn't mean anything because I'm not going to win a beauty contest with my hands anyway. But anyway, this, and while I have this apart, I've cleaned the counter shaft sprocket, I've used kerosene, cleaned everything up, cleaned the chain. Once you have this apart, it's pretty easy to do that. Now, it's real important to get the tape off. As you can imagine, if you leave a little piece of tape in there, as we have found out the hard way, what can happen? Where the hell's the end of the tape? I know all the lines, here we go. 
But it proves to me once again that we made that heat box. So now I don't think you could do this conveniently unless you had uh, dyno trucks for a friend or something or three big heavy guys. I don't think you could do this in the middle of the winter. Well, I'm just, I'm, I'm lying. You could take it in your house and leave it there overnight. But I've always, I've always felt that heat was the, the big thing that helped in this case. And the people I've shown this to, people that have had a, it's difficult enough when you have rims that scratch or you, you've just powder coated or painted them. It can be disappointing to have a big gouge in them, as we know. And since most of my bikes have something done to the rims, I'm willing to take the extra time to do it this way. Now I also have something I'm I'm not I'm not gonna do it today, but I Chuck has given me a, a tool. I don't know why I didn't do it today, so I'm just not thinking ahead of the game. Chuck has given me a tool that, let me just show it up on. And I think they use this on dirt bikes. I don't know if it would be applicable to, uh, let's see the name of it, is No Pinch. A Baja No Pinch tire tool. And basically what this is, we're going to do this at some near future time. In fact, I'm hoping Chuck has a dirt bike tire. He can demo this for me. This side, I read this real quick, but this basically is a little ratchet. And what it does, you can look at, at the website and see it up at the website. You basically put this in the axle and jiggle it through. I'm, I'm not sure. It's, it's the Baja No Pinch. And I did look at the video already. Let me just put this up on the camera. It's Baja No Pinch Tool, www.bajanopinch.com. And that, that, we will get to do that in the near future, but for today, we just wanted to get this bike ready to ride tomorrow. And a half hour from now, we'll have some air in the tire, we'll balance it up, ready to go.